Welcome back everybody, this is Glockman4519. I'm here um, to show you guys a, uh, a new ROM for the uh, Nexus 10. Um, I was doing some browsing around uh, and noticed, uh, actually I was going to update uh, AICP ROM, um, and I noticed uh, through a little bit of digging that Cynogen Mod has officially added the uh, Nexus 10 to their CM13 lineup. Uh, so the build I'm running right now, which is uh, which is the ninth, I think, or the tenth, uh, it might it might be the ninth, is the second build that is officially supported by Cyanogen Mod for the Nexus 10. Um, so this is going to be a very quick video. There's not a lot to this. Um, this is just basic Cyanogen Mod, uh, but it's here. It is here for our device, and that means that there's going to be uh, this is going to give chance or it's going to open the doors for a lot more building some more custom ROMs ROMs that are uh, Built off of CM or based off of CM um, This this is just great at least in my opinion uh, it, it just lets me know that there may be more uh, for this tablet to come uh, So let's go ahead and get into settings Again, guys, if you know Cyanogen Mod, there's not a lot of customizations to this, so I'm just going to run through some quick settings here real quick and just let you guys see what it looks like. We're going to go to About Tablet. Um, as you guys can see, uh, this is Cyanogen Mod. It is the official Cyanogen Mod. Uh, I am running the nightly. This is, uh, okay, it is the 10th. Um, so the 9th would have been the first one that was designated Marshmallow. Uh, I am running cons kernel on this uh, just so I can get past the forced encryption. Some people's tablets force encrypt, others don't. Uh, for some reason, mine mine does. So I've got to run a kernel that bypasses that to stay unencrypted. Going to developer options. Uh, there's your advanced reboot, uh, your root access. Do not try to flash super sue with this. If you do, you're going to run into issues. You're going to get into a boot loop. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, I hope they finally do come up with something that will work with this, and I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, but for right now, uh, just use Cyanogen Mod's uh, built-in um, super sue. And I forget what it's called. Privacy Guard. Yeah, that's what it's called. Privacy Guard. Uh, and it works. All the apps that are requiring root uses it, and it works fine. Um, there you have all your developer shortcuts. Um, the only other thing I want to do is scroll down and let you guys see that the multi window is under developer options, right in the normal area. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have your uh, kill app back button. Um, I'm going to let you guys know that you, if you don't want uh, 24 hour time on this, or what I refer to as military time, uh, you're going to want to. Uh, go into your date and time and shut that off because it comes like that. Uh, so you're going to have to shut it off uh, if you want standard 12 hour time. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot to it guys. Uh, status bar. Uh, here you have your uh, status bar icons um, where you can uh, show or not show what you want on your status bar. Uh, this gives you options. Uh, then you have your clock. AM, PM, whether you want it to show. Battery status style. Of course, your percentage if you want it showing where at. And then your quick pull down. Mm. Lock screen settings, basic. Um, set up your screen whether you want swipe, lock, whatever pin pattern. Uh, you can put a message on it, and that's about it. Uh, and again, sounds very basic. Other sounds, those are the settings under that. Security. You have your device administrators if you want to shut them off or turn them on. Unknown sources, of course. 
You're going to want to click that if you want to sideload any apps. And then on the bottom you have your screen pinning, uh, your SMS uh, message limiter, and all that. Uh, and you have uh, your buttons would be uh, your backlight settings. Uh, and yes, they do have where you can change the layout of your buttons on the bottom. Power menu, there's not much there. Uh, again, guys, this is Sunjin Mod. Um, they build a base ROM. They build a good, solid base ROM. So you're not going to get a lot of options. What you're going to get is a good, a good running ROM. Uh, I mean, if, if you guys are like, you know, there are people out there that will argue that AOSP is the king. Uh, uh, I like them all, to be honest with you. So I, I don't have any favorites. Uh, let's see, you have your power button twice for camera. Mm. I don't see anything else on here that is not on any of the other ROMs. Uh, then you go into your notification settings. Uh, and again, this is pretty basic, your heads up notification. Uh, then you have all of your settings under that. Uh, and if you shut off your heads up, uh, then you you don't you lose those other settings. So these settings are all for the heads up, the do not disturb, do not disturb access, all that. Here are here's your display and lights, brightness control. Uh, you have your adaptive brightness. Uh, all that is, is in there. Uh, I didn't see anything missing. Uh, they do have the battery light notification light. Um, I do have it set up. Uh, but it doesn't really give you um, a way to change the color on it. So you're going to get what they give you. Um, and really there aren't too many ROMs out there for this tablet that allows you to change the color. And guys, that's about it. Um, again, this is basic Cynogen mod. Um, but it's just so great that they finally... Uh, I was worried that they were they weren't going to pick this tablet up then i saw aicp out and i knew that aicp was based on cyanogen mod and i was just wondering <laughs> you know if cyanogen mod was going to officially throw a cm13 out there and it is it's a, it is actually official so you you guys go to cyanogen mods web uh, website the way their wiki page um you look up uh, manta uh look for nightlies and you are going to see uh, CM13. It really surprised me today. Uh, I was happy to see it. I wanted to get it on here so I could put a video out and let you guys see it. The last thing I do want to do is I want to throw a theme on here. Um, this is the first time for me, so I want to. You guys are going to uh, go with me to see and watch to see if this actually works. So I downloaded the themes called Shadows. Uh, we're going to start with Style. So far, so good. Status bar, two for two, nav bar, although it's already there, that's looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and change the fonts, yeah, it's a little thinner, so we'll go with that. Um, I'm going to leave the wallpaper the way it is, uh, I kind of like the signage and mod wallpaper, so we're going to leave it like that. Um, and everything else, although they do have some really cool boot animation, guys. <laughs> Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the boot animation on this is killer. Well, okay. I, I got this confused with another one. But it's pretty cool. Alright. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, you know, if you... And, again, guys, if you have... Um, a, a ROM that you want me to review, say you're thinking about it and you're not sure if you want to throw it on, uh, if I own that device, um, I would be more than happy to flash it. Uh, just let me know, um, you know, either in the comments, email me, whatever. Uh, I'll throw it on and I'll do a video of it. Um, uh, so, uh, until the next one, you guys take care.